we are joined on the phone line by Mr. Ram Praveen Swaminathan, Chairman and Managing Director of International Papers, APPM. He is joining us uh, from Hyderabad. Uh, Mr. Swaminathan, thank you so much for speaking with us at NDTV Profit. Off late for the last few days or so, we've seen uh, uh, the stock prices of a number of paper companies buzzing headed higher. What's happening? Uh, uh, has there been a significant improvement on the ground for paper industry? Um, what is happening? Uh, so we have been seeing an improvement uh, you know, in the demand environment, uh, especially for the grades which we manufacture this year, you know, uncoated wood free paper. Uh, you know, the last couple of years uh, have been in challenging uh, demand environment, but you know, we have seen an uptick this year in the last two or three quarters. Um, and, uh, you know, and that's helping the industry as a whole. Um, but, you know, is it uh, just the improvement in demand outlook uh, that is spurring uh, these um, uh, uh, paper stocks higher? Has there been a change in the outlook for raw material prices as well? Uh, because, you know, wood fiber prices were still pretty high. Uh, has there been any moderation there? Well, uh, over the last three years, uh, wood prices have more than doubled in India. So it has been a significant uh, cost headwind uh, for us, definitely. Um, and uh, you know, it's been challenging uh, to essentially create enough customer value to recover that. Uh, over the last uh, few months, I think we have seen a moderation uh, in prices. Uh, prices have stabilized, uh, especially in our fiber basin, in and around Andhra and Telangana, we have seen more stable prices. Mm -hmm. Uh, that said, uh, you know, prices are still pretty high. Uh, if you compare to global prices, uh, hardwood uh, prices in India are probably twice what it is uh, in other parts of Asia and North America. Uh, and that still remains a long-term strategic challenge for the industry. Right. You said there's been an improvement in the demand outlook, but are local manufacturers going to benefit? Because when we speak to companies that come out with their earnings, they tell us repeatedly, at least in those areas which are near the coast, that there's an onslaught of Chinese imports. And, you know, there's so much competitive pressure that the bottom lines get hit. Uh, so uh, where is this demand uptick coming from? And is it really benefit benefiting the local manufacturers? Well, demand, uh, first let me address the demand question. I think uh, demand has been improving marginally in the domestic market. Uh, we've also, uh, I know speaking for our business, seen uh, an improvement in the export environment, uh, right, where we've been exporting more paper uh, to Middle East Africa and some other Asian regions. Um, from, an, uh, from a supply side, uh, you know, there are, the, comp the import exposure is different uh, based on what grades of paper you're looking at. Uh, if you look at uncoated wood-free paper, which is what you know, we largely make in India, uh, most of the ex import risk uh, or the import exposure is from ASEAN countries, such as Indonesia, uh, where uh, you know, we've seen with the lower import duties uh, last year, you know, starting last year, uh, those imports have become cheaper, uh, and therefore there is some, uh, some impact. Uh, imports are growing at a faster clip, uh, than the market, uh, but that said, they're coming off a pretty small base. Right, but then, uh, you know, the different segments are impacted by the kind of imports that are coming through. But, you know, uh, given the overall scenario, how much flexibility do paper makers have on pricing when uh, not just the imports, even your current capacities, your supply continues to be more than the demand? Well, uh, I think as I said earlier, Anisha, you know, we are seeing an Im the improvement in demand has helped firm up operating rates uh, for the industry as a whole and, and for us as well. Uh, and that is one positive trend. Um, uh, from a pricing perspective, I think uh, you know, it really depends on what each company or each player in the industry decides uh, in terms of wishes to position their products as. Uh, you know, from our perspective, you know, we've really focused on creating more customer value by launching differentiated products. Uh, we launched several new products uh, for offset uh, printing, printing applications. Uh, we've launched new set of products in cut size and copier markets. Um, and we've also launched new specialty grades. So it really still, I think, comes down to, uh, from our perspective, it comes down to what the product capability is, how the service platform is, and how much value you really create uh, for customers as they use that paper.
Right. You said there is an improvement in demand. Is this coming largely from the e-commerce side where there is an increase in packaging paper required? Do you also deal in this segment? Well, our business in India is largely uncoated wood-free, so we don't see a significant impact from e-commerce uh, directly in our business. Uh, I would say uh, that an industry-level e-commerce uh, is helping uh, generate demand for packaging grades, uh, you know, container board, uh, coated paper board to some extent, uh, but not so much for uncoated wood-free. Uh, our demand growth really continued to come from the long-term drivers, you know, growth in education, you know, increased urbanization, and of course, as I said, you know, uh, some penetration in exports, uh, which has been helping us. Right. Uh, but, uh, you know, uh the prospects for uh, you know the long term for the paper industry do they remain as rosy because uh, you know the uh, the cause uh, or the reason given is that uh, you know the per capita consumption of paper in india is much lower than the global average even compared with china so uh, there is just a lot of scope because of uh, for penetration but you know now everybody is talking about digital india so many transactions moving online and on mobile how much will people resort to paper in the future? In the long term, uh, what are the prospects for the industry? Well, uh, you know, digitization has not been a big impact on packaging grades. So packaging grades are, le are more intrinsically more protected from uh, digitization risks. As you mentioned earlier, they probably won't benefit in some ways from e-commerce. Uh, on printing and writing grades, which is paper used for notebooks, uh, you know, textbooks, uh, you know, cut size uh, uh, copiers and photocopying and so on, uh, digitization is having an impact. Uh, that said, I think long-term growth trends for India or demand drivers are still pretty robust. I mean, the growth in education is pretty strong. I think uh, as services growth comes back uh, and with increased urbanization, uh, tailwinds are still pretty strong uh, for uh, the underlying growth and demand. Uh, on digitization, it's also important to remember that digitization often moves consumption from the supplier to the, to the user. Mm -hmm. uh, what I mean when I say that is, uh, if, for example, if you're printing out and if you get uh, your tax returns in a digitized form, uh, you, you know, the end user may still actually take a printout for their record. So, uh, so in that sense, digitization does not eliminate demand completely. Mm -hmm. uh, it will have a mutate, mute, you know, muting impact on demand. Uh, but on a net basis, we still think over the next four or five years, uh, you know, growth is still there, uh, probably at a slower pace than we have seen historically. Uh, but um, there is still strong growth potential pretty much for all grades of paper. All right, Mr. Swaminathan, thank you so much for speaking with us at NDTV Profit.